intro. Uh, Peter Malinowski, the Premier, joins us now. How are you doing? Good morning, gents. Not too bad, thanks. Not too bad. It's a, uh, a nice dry morning, which is a good thing as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, yes, now we, of course. we know we can take your word for it being a dry morning because at the moment you're doing the CEO sleep out for Vinnie's. How much sleep did you actually get last night? Uh, probably was lights out a bit before midnight and I, I managed to to get a bit of a shut eye, it's not exactly, you know, it's not a good night's sleep or anything like that, but it yep. started raining, it did start raining about 3.30 in the morning, but it was, it was only a light shower, so it wasn't wasn't too bad, so I'd say a few hours sleep, so okay. um, I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll get through the day, right, but I'll tell you what, in comparison to last year, it, last year it rained 44 mils all, oh. all over us. So I haven't got much to complain about today. Well, uh, look, you, you seem in good spirits for someone who's, you know, slept rough all night out on the streets. Um, but and how, how do you? I'm assuming you'd have to be pretty used to running off the little sleep as the the premier. Like, would you? Will you get the grumps by like 3 p.m. today? Like, if David Spears tries something on, will you bite his head off? <laughs> look, um, no, look, I occasionally I've had to um, pull almost all night as like doing work and oh. so forth. So it's not. It, I've done it a few times before, but you. By the end of the day, you sort of do notice it, and I've got to function on tonight. So mm. I'm sure by the end of that, I'll be like, I'll be looking forward to a good night's sleep. Yeah, but, you know, I could imagine. Especially and that thing, not, like, if, you, if you're at a function and you have, like, a beer, but if yeah. you're, like, super, super sleep yeah. deprived, then, yeah. You, you, yeah, you look sloppier than what you and actually are. Peter, you definitely yeah. deserve a good night's sleep because congrats on the great news about the Adelaide 500. Mm-hmm. You've got it back. Do you reckon it's going to be better at the end of the year, like summer vibes or, like, mid-March? What you, that, I mean, first of all, congratulations. That's great news. Yeah, you no, know, I reckon, gents, that bringing it into December might actually work out to be a, a bit of a, a bit of a bonus because the thing that the hotel industry tells us is that you know Mad March stacks up by itself. So the idea is by putting it into December, the Adelaide Five Hundred stacks up by itself. So we can fill hotel rooms twice, regardless, and it'll be the week before the Adelaide Test. So what we start to see now is a, oh, yeah. a flurry of activity before that in that first week of December. And, and look, I know a lot of people are very very excited about it and we're pretty determined to make sure we bring it back bigger and better than before and 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 now it's a, a, a going to be a reality i mean what we'll locked that last race of the year in for five years which means we've got a, a prominent position that will bring with it a lot of industry interstate tourism which is yeah, key effective that's unreal and well done for you for fulfilling your promise so quick as well sometimes these election promises mm. they don't ever come to fruition but here we go we know the adelaide 500 is back um do we know if there's any sort of chat Around the entertainment yet? Yeah, I know it's very early days. I mean, the the ink is barely dry on the paper, but it, the hoods we, already locked. Have in. we locked in Hilltopper? Have we locked in Spider Man? Yeah. Um, do we yeah. jet playing again? That's what I want to know. Yeah, no, no, they, these are these are good questions. So what I can say is, without giving too much away, that we are pretty determined to get some big acts okay. involved with the LA Five Hundred, and there's been a lot of work that's been going on for what well, the last six weeks now. Uh, to make sure we do that, and we're gonna we're gonna be announcing something. Um, oh my god! A bit closer to when tickets go on sale. Well, look, I, I know one of the biggest bands on earth, the Killers, are in the country. More specifically, pretty close to our region around that time of the year. Just cough twice if it's the Killers. Oh! It almost seems like you. I don't know if you coughed maybe three times there or not, but it, it seemed like there was movement. There seemed like there was. Either way, either way, I think it's it's a watch this space yep. type of thing. We're going to look forward to that announcement. Uh, well done in getting the the Adelaide five hundred back, and that's just the kind of thing we need to get Adelaide back up to like in the ranker of the most livable city. Yeah, because I mean, we know Peter that we have dropped down to thirty, which is disappointing. It would have been roveable. Yeah, like it was. I was a bit surprised. So. So this was uh, the survey that happened throughout last calendar year. So they, I think they go February to February. So, um, and uh, they put what what the Economist Intelligence Unit is telling us um, when the, the numbers were released, that this is because South Australia's handling of COVID late last year wasn't crash hot. That's what they're, they're saying contributed to our drop. Right. Which, um, so that, and, and a lot of Australians... Well, Stephen Martin's I was going to say, I feel, like, I feel like you really shifted the blame there. Well, if you, if you check the stats, that ain't me, guys. Uh, nothing I can do. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought I was being subtle. <laughs> Not so Look, much. Peter, mate. But, um, no, it's all, all upside from here. I reckon we'll climb back up those rankings in due course. And, yep. and, and I think what we all know is that we wake up this morning and nothing's changed. We still live in a pretty amazing city in, in one of the best states in the greatest country. So, 
Absolutely. Um, we're pretty relaxed and we'll come back up those rankings in yeah. due course. Especially when we get those fast cars oh, yeah. zipping around the track. you got the killers playing. Oh, oh well, yeah. We don't know Maybe. Sure, but Maybe. You, you, never see. you never know. All right, Peter. We'll let you back to bed, mate. Right. <laughs> see ya. You're on Nova. Ben and Liam is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.